Okay, I found a nice little website called Meet the Gimp. It, and I'm going to take some of the tips I learned from there, show you how to apply it to your old photos. First, let's take an old photo. We're going to just click and drag this into this area. And that loads it. Let me resize it. Okay. And this was oval and domed, so I couldn't use my scanner. I had to use a copy table and a digital camera. So over here, I'm going to choose foreground selection tool. And feather edges, contiguous. Yeah, I basically leave everything like that, except I do use the feathered edges. And it starts out like the lasso tool. I'm going to show it the area we want to work in. Now, from here, it's just a matter of telling it the colors we want. We don't have to be perfect. And we just let go. Just to losing this. Okay, as you can see, we've it did miss a few areas. And it also added in some areas we don't want. So let me zoom in a little bit by hitting the plus symbol. Take a quick look down. Okay, to add areas it might have missed, you just copy over, paint over the top of it. and you let go and it'll start doing its little thing again okay now you need to kind of look at what we got got most of what I do want now let's get rid of some of what we don't want I'm gonna zoom in a little more it's a lot of area right in there a little bit up top but the big way to get rid of stuff is you hold down the control key and you get the little uh, eraser mark and we just go over it take out the area we don't want and when we let go again it's going to edit that okay now we've uh, selected, I've cleaned up everything. So now all we need to do is make our selection. And we do that by hitting enter. And we've got a nice smooth path around the picture. Now I like to keep my originals. So I'm going to come up here to edit, copy, then I'm going to go to Edit, Paste as, New Image. I'll resize that. Now, come over here to the layers. I had shown you how to use the levels tool in one of the previous videos now now I'm gonna do a little faster way of doing it we're going to duplicate layer change normal to overlay now I'm actually gonna move this no I'll leave it here uh, that over did the correction but we just make it translucent and see this is the original and we just enhance the pictures by moving the slider it's too much so drop it down now 
Yeah, that's pretty good. So, all we have to do now, come over here to layers, and merge down. And that's pretty much it. You'll want to use the cloning tool and the healing tool to take care of these little spots and little defects. But, now all we have to do is save it. Okay, if you're planning to edit it, always save it as a an XCF. That's a uh, GIMP file. But when you're all done, you can get away with uh, saving it as a JPEG. And I always do test. Click Save. Yes, I want to replace it. Now it's, here it says it can't handle transparent. See, so yes, export it. And the quality, I still like 85. Click Save. Now let me show you what the picture looks like. Now when we zoom in, let's go into these edges. And there's no way I could have got a nice smooth curve like that using the lasso tool. So, I hope you enjoy.